So one of the most common um, complaints that we see patients coming into the clinic for is um, sciatica or sciatic type symptoms. And basically this is pain that's traveling down the side of the leg. Um, this can be for a variety of reasons. The most common is some sort of irritation of um, the SI joint, which is one of the joints in the uh, base of the spine or the pelvis region. And um, other, other reasons that this can happen is just for muscle imbalances around the hip or pelvis. Um, if you've been diagnosed with this or you have, you're seeing a physical therapist with this, for this, a lot of times we'll give this um, little series of exercises and they're called muscle energy techniques. And what you're doing is you're actually utilizing your own muscles to help um, kind of engage the muscles around the pelvis and teach them all to work again. Because sometimes what will happen is you'll end up with some muscles working harder than others. So there is a series of four exercises that I like to give to patients for correction of a pelvis um, rotation or shift that should help with sciatic symptoms. So what you're going to do is you're going to straighten one leg and you're going to bring one leg up to this 90-90 position and this really should not increase pain when you're doing this. So if any of these exercises or any of these uh, positions that I have you going into are painful, um, make sure that you check with your physical therapist first before trying something new. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring one foot up into this 90-90 position. You're in, if you can engage your abdominal muscles just ever so slightly to support yourself, great, but it's not a necessity for this exercise. It's really meant to try and shift the muscles around the pelvis. So in this position, what you're going to do is you're going to put, I'm going to put one hand on my knee, and I'm going to be pushing my knee into my hand, but I'm not going to let my knee move. So it's called an isometric contraction where I'm gonna contract the muscles in the front of the hip, hip on the right side. At the same time as I'm doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this left leg, which is the leg that's down, and I'm gonna gently push the left leg into the mat. And what that does is it engages the muscles behind the left leg. So the right knee is being pushed in as the left leg is being pushed down. I'm gonna hold that for about three seconds, and then I'm gonna relax. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same exercise on the other side. So I'm gonna take the left knee up, bring that to 90-90. I'm gonna push that knee into my hand and at the same time I'm gonna push the right leg down. So I'm gonna contract and I'm gonna relax. So again, I'm gonna hold that for about three to five seconds. And then I'm gonna repeat this about three times on each side. So alternately shifting, bringing the right knee to the right hand, left leg press down, hold for three seconds. And then I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna bring the left knee up, push the right knee down, push and hold for three seconds. And again, I'm gonna repeat this about three to five times on each side. The next two exercises that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if I can, I'm gonna bring both knees up, if you can rather, bring both knees up to this 90-90 position. If this is too much work, you can sit up a little bit and be supported behind your back um, so that you can do this movement differently so it's less, less pressure on the back. But I'm gonna show it to you the way I like to have patients to do it if they're able to do it. I'm gonna take my two hands and I'm gonna bring them together. I'm actually gonna push them, put them between my knees so that my knees are gonna push against each other. And that's gonna hold for three seconds. Then I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna bring my hands to the outside of my knees and I'm gonna push my knees out against my hands. Three to five seconds. And again, I'm gonna alternate pushing in for three to five seconds and pulling out for three to five seconds. So I do those first two exercises, alternating, alternating, three to five seconds, and then I bring pulling in and pushing out, three to five seconds. And that should start to help with the pain that you're having down the legs, even sometimes just back pain in general, that can really be a great exercise to help correct everything. I would recommend that you do that, you know, anywhere from three to five times during the day as, you, as you're able to. And within a few days, that should really help with pain. But if it's not, you should definitely be um, checking with us or checking with your physical therapist.